it's Nick from Hobby Electronics and in this episode I'll be showing you how to make a simple light sensor and show you some of the projects that it can be used in. So let's get to it. Okay, so here are the components that we're needing for this project. A 9 volt battery snap, an LED, a 10k ohm resistor, a 1k ohm resistor, an LDR, a BC548 transistor, and a piece of Vero board, along with a 9 volt battery. Here's the schematic for this project. First, let's start off by defining our voltage rails, 9 volts and ground. Then we have the LDR coming down from 9 volts to a 10k ohm resistor to ground, acting as a voltage divider. Then going off to a 1k ohm resistor. Then onto the BC548 NPN transistor to an LED and ground. And then a 10k ohm resistor tying one leg of the transistor to 9 volts. First begin by scuffing up the copper traces on your Vero board with a piece of steel wool. Then position the LDR on the board like so. Then solder it in position and cut off the legs like so. Now bend the legs of the 10k ohm resistor like so. This will allow us to easily place it into the board. Then solder it in position. After soldering it in position, cut the excess leg off the resistors. Your board should look like this. Next, using the same method that we used before in the 10k ohm resistor, bend the legs of the 1k ohm resistor like so. Then position it on the board like so and solder it in place. Trimming the component legs as we go. Next insert the MPN BC548 transistor like so. Then strip and tin the leads of the 9 volt battery snap. Then solder them to the corresponding voltage rails. Next, bend the legs of another 10k ohm resistor. Then position it in the board like so. After some initial testing I found that adding a short piece of drinking straw over the top of the LDR enabled for more accurate readings. I did this by getting a full length drinking straw and just chopping about a centimetre or two off the end. As an extension to this project I've decided to hook this circuit up to my Raspberry Pi. To allow for this board to be integrated with the Raspberry Pi's GPIO pins I've decided to add some pins coming from specific points on the board. Now let's take a look at the code that will allow us to integrate this board. After installing an image onto an SD card, log into your Raspberry Pi with the default username and password. Then create a file with sudo nano, the name of the file you would like to create, with the Python extension .py. Let's begin this file by importing the GPO library. And then importing time. This will allow us to add a delay later and declaring that we would like to use the Broadcom pin numbering system. Now let's declare that we would like GPO 17 as an input. Then add the following statement, if the GPO pin input 17 is high, then we'll print the word light to the console. And then we'll give that a delay of one second to prevent the console from being flooded with these posts. And if GPO pin 17 isn't high, then we'll print the word dark to the console and give the delay of one second. Then save and exit out of that file. Now here's how we're going to interface this board with our Raspberry Pi. At this specific point on the circuit I've decided to connect pin 17 making sure you have the ground and 5 volt connections to the right pins. The white lead there is running to pin 17. After typing sudo python the name of your python script with the python extension into the console we can then test out the board. By waving your finger over the sensor, the following reading should be printed out to the console. 